friction problems. Can't get enough of them. So here we have a skier with a certain mass. As I read this, I'm going to go ahead and draw a little diagram because we're going down a snowy slope at 25 degree angle. So I'm going to draw my little slope here with a 25 degree angle. I'm going to put my skier on the slope on the lovely skis and we'll set the mass of this skier equal to 62 kilograms. Usually on sl slope equate problems, it's convenient to rotate my coordinates. The solvable, whichever coordinate system you choose, but you can make your life easier by rotating your coordinates to be aligned with the slope in many cases. All right, and we want to find the coefficient of kinetic friction for the skier if we know friction is 45 newtons. So we're sliding, this is going to be kinetic friction, which means I know the force of friction is equal to kinetic friction, which is mu kn, and that has to equal 45 newtons. So if I want to find mu k, all I need is the normal force, and now I can get my coefficient of kinetic friction. Just to put it on the page here, we want to find mu k, so I'm going to solve this and say mu k is equal to the force of kinetic friction, which we know is 45, divided by the normal force. All right, so let's find the normal force. Here we'll do a free body diagram, and the logical thing to use is the skier. Skier. I've got my skier. Got it on this slope. I'm just including this as a dimensional thing. So I have the 25 degree angle. And now the weight will be acting downward, which is equal to mass times gravity. We will have a normal force that's acting normal to the surface. And then we'll have a frictional force that's keeping us from sliding down the surface unimpeded. Our coordinates are going to maintain rotated. And using some geometry, we can show that this angle in here is 25 degrees. You might say, what geometry? Well, I'll do it real quick. We have a right angle here, so we can find that the angle inside there is 25 minus 90 degrees. Sorry, 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. And then we've got another right angle here, or on the other side internally, and so we know that this angle here is 90 minus the quantity 90 minus 25, or we just end up with 25. Lovely. We can now use Newton's second law and hopefully find our normal force. Newton's second law says sums of the forces are equal to mass times acceleration. We can break that down into an x component. Diagonally up the slope is my positive x component. And this will be f is acting up the slope, and then we'll have the, ne the component of our weight that's acting in that direction, which is acting in the negative x direction as I've drawn it. So negative mg sine 25 degrees to get the component that's acting along that axis. Why sine 25? Well, 25 is the angle I have with the y-axis. So cosine would project it onto the y-axis. That means sine gives me the opposite side or the x-axis. And then this is equal to mass times acceleration in the x. All right, fine, but that's not what I want. What I want is the normal force, and that doesn't appear there. I maybe could have just skipped right to doing the y direction, because that one has the normal force that acts in it. This has the normal force acting in the positive y direction, and then we have some component of the weight. This turns out to be mg cosine of 25 degrees acting downward. And this equals mass times acceleration in the y. Since we're staying on the slope and not going through the slope or coming off the slope vertically there, that acceleration is zero, which now lets us solve this for our normal force. We'll add mg cosine 25 to both sides, and we get my normal force is equal to mg cosine of 25 degrees. Lovely, we have our normal force. We can now combine that with what we had from before. So we'll take this and this, and we'll write that our mu k, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to my force of kinetic friction, which I know is 45, divided by mg cosine 25 degrees. 
we can now plug in all the numbers. 45 newtons for the force of kinetic friction, 62 grams, 62 kilograms for the mass, 9.8 meters per second squared for the gravitational acceleration, and the cosine of 25 degrees. Evaluating that, we end up with a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.082, which is smaller than a lot of surfaces, but remember, this is skis on the slope. You put special things on your skis to try and keep it from having high friction. So having a low coefficient of kinetic friction is kind of what you're looking for if you want to be able to go quickly down the mountain.